this episode of Diva Diorama, we're going to put together some of our very first Make It Minis from the Lifestyle series. If you saw our capsule opening videos, you know that we've got inventory of Make It Minis to make. So we've got our craft table set up and we'll be kicking off with some of the easiest builds, the plants. Also be sure to stay until the end for a sneak peek of a special project coming up in our next video. Let's open our first capsule. Oh, cute. It's gonna be the tall cactus that we're gonna make. Let's see here. We've got the pot. Let's see, what are the instructions here? Cowboy cactus. Oh, it says tall cactus here, but it says cowboy cactus there, which is kind of cute. <laughs> I like that cowboy cactus. Okay, so anyway, and we're supposed to put the soil first and then the plant and then the sandy mix. Certainly seems simple enough, so let's get to it. I'm so excited for our first make. I've already kind of opened this. Well, let's use the tool here that we're given. I mean, how full does it need to be, I wonder? Hmm. I would say it needs to be pretty full. I would want to almost use all of it. Let's see here. And maybe we will use my tool to kind of tamp this down, get a nice base in there. Let's try and get that in there. That is so cute. Now let's try and put that in there, maybe. Put the rest of this stuff in there, perhaps. This silicone stir stick is definitely one of my favorite tools. I don't think I've ever even seen these in craft stores. So I had to purchase them online, and I'm so glad I did. I use them all the time for all kinds of applications, so always have them on hand. Here I'm using it to tamp down the potting mix, since my fingers are not skinny enough to fit in this space between the plant and the pot. Did you get all of that? Let's put all of it in there. Why not? Use it all up. Distribute it all around there. All right. Let's get the sandy mix open here. Oh, look at that. That is so interesting. Wow, that is some wacky stuff. This sandy mix definitely reminds me of kinetic sand, but it's much more natural looking. It has a nice variation of color in it, which gives it a nice depth and realism. That might be all we need. And again, I'm going to spend a bit of time here to tamp down the sandy mix layer with my tool to ensure that the substrate has a firm hold on that pretty small root ball. Here I'm just switching to my flat silicone tongue depressor to tamp down the layer along the very edges of the inside of the pot. Pack it nice and firm in there. Yay! So that was the cowboy cactus. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Pretty cute. Pretty sweet. Oh, we've got that one done. That was fun. Let's make another one. This is the hen and chicks. So we've got more sandy mix so we can use what we've already got and some rocky mix. So here we have our container, which was also the fish bowl from the clownfish. Which I've cleaned. And we've got our plant. And we've got our Rocky Mix. All right, let's see here. What are the instructions? Put the Sandy Mix on the bottom, put the plant in, and put the rocks. Okay. So the Sandy Mix looks like it comes up about a third of the way, maybe. Let's put this. Probably about that. All right, let's do... That's probably not enough. Let's put more in there. Maybe we don't want to uh, overfill just yet because we've got the uh, plant that we've got to put in there, right? So let's make a little indentation for the plant. Let's put the plant in there. Oh, wait, no. Wait, yes, right? Because we're supposed to put the stuff in and the plant. Okay, well, you know what? Let's try and make this as packed as possible. All right, that in there. And uh, just kind of maybe put more of this stuff. Going around, around on the other side, so we get a good pack in there. Cute. Okay, that done. Let's get the rocky mix going. Let's get 
some of these rocks. Oh, look how tiny these are. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is so cool. They're so tiny. Wow, how cute is that? How sweet is that? This inexpensive needle tool that I got from my dollar store really comes in handy to flick the rocks off of the plant as I go along. Out. So I'm just going to continue to add this rocky mix until we can no longer see any of the sandy mix underneath. Let's do some more. Whoops. Get a nice amount there. Now, isn't that adorable? Once again, I'm using that needle tool like a micro finger to help arrange the rocks into an even layer. Cute. All right. Let's put that there. We're on a roll. Let's do another one. For our next capsule, we've got the uh, paddle cactus. Okay, so looks easy enough. That's funny. It has the Rocky Mix, but it... Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, Rocky Mix afterwards. Okay. Well, we've already got some Rocky Mix open, so we'll use that. And we'll take this potting mix. Okay, we'll get the plant here out. And the pot, very boho chic pot. So we'll start with the potting mix, I guess. We'll follow the directions here. Open that up. Get this. Pretty much can probably use the whole thing. Probably just dump the whole thing in there. Or most of it. So that we get a good base for our cactus. And get it nice and packed. Because as this root ball is not terribly big. So we're going to leave some of that in there. This stuff is so neat. So trippy. Okay, here. Let's... Uh, Get our little silicone stir stick tool here and start packing it down. Kind of looks like chocolate cake. Chocolate cake crumbs. Yum. Maybe we need more. We might need more. In fact, we might need to use the residual from the tall cactus we made. That's one nice thing about building these kits in succession. You can use up the substrate as you go along instead of repeatedly opening new packets or searching for your leftovers. Is that really what cactus roots look like? Okay, so that looks that looks about right. It looks like he's kind of crooked. Well, let's try and straighten him out there. About. And we'll get the rest of this stuff in there. I really thought this stuff was going to be messier, but it's very dry. It's not sticky at all. It sticks to, to itself pretty darn well, but doesn't stick to anything else really, which is pretty great. Like if you're a kid, this is great. We can move maybe to this flat tongue depressor tool. These are my absolute favorite craft tools guys nothing sticks to them because they're silicone they're almost like fingers but again nothing sticks to them because it's silicone they're pretty great i really like them a lot i i bought them online from a i think it was a chinese company like a temu kind of dealio do you have a favorite craft tool that you find yourself grabbing for over and over and that you just can't live without let us know in the comments below. All right, let's just use all of this because there's no sense in not using it all. It's almost like it's um, positively charged or something, you know? It's got like an electrical charge because it's kind of got a like static electricity. Let's use a clean trowel for the, uh, the Rocky Mix. Check out how cute that is. Alright. Get some more in there. It looks a little like styrofoam. But wow, they are so tiny. They're so I mean, but they still look like round rocks. It's kind of cool. You know, like pebbles. And we still have rocky mix in there. So let's put that aside next to our cowboy cactus. So the next kit we're going to assemble is the succulent pair number two. Open that up. We've got these two plants here. Pretty cute. 
Oh, we've got that tray. We've got Sandy Mix. And we've got these two pots. The pots out. Okay. And we can just reuse the trowels we've got. What does this say? This says to put the Sandy Mix in there and then the plants. Simple enough. Okay. So let's get this Sandy Mix open. Oh, you know what? And we've also got this Sandy Mix. Let's use up this Sandy Mix first. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be enough for both. Whoops. Let's do the kitty one first. Let's put the, the soil in there. Get our tool and tamp it down. This um tool is really great because it's like a fine finger, right? I mean, you can't get your finger in there. And if you've got nails like me, you don't really want to. Let's leave a little space in there for the plant. And let's put the plant in. Oh, wait, put this one. And I think that's it. Ta-da! <laughs> Simple enough, but you know the weight that it adds? Adds to kind of the realism too. All right, let's get this one filled with soil or sandy. Sandy mix. Get our sandy mix in there. Do just a little bit more. Tamp that down. Give it a nice solid base. That is so cute. It really does look like soil, folks. It's really pretty sweet. Okay, put that around. Put another little bit on the other side, a little hole in the center, and let's see, let's put this guy inside. Okay, now I've got, I've also got this tool, which I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure what it's for, but the sandy mix doesn't stick to it, so oh, that's good. In there, tap it down, ta-da! That was simple enough. That was very simple. Pretty sweet. Let's put that in there. So that, folks, was the succulent pair number two. Moving on to the next kit, which is aloe vera. So here we've got the fish bowl first. We've got the potting mix here. Oh no, okay, it's the pebble mix first. It's the pebble mix first and then the potting mix, which seems kind of um, counterintuitive. Typically the... Uh, Pebbles are a top dressing, but not in this case. So let's get this pebble mix open. Let's see what it's like. Oh, oh it's that same kind of, gosh, what does this remind me of? It reminds me of some kind of food, like marshmallow almost, like when marshmallows are um, melted. Okay, let's put that in there. That might be enough because we don't, we don't need a lot. That is some weird wild stuff. Let's put some more in there. I, it must be glue. I wonder if it'll dry out. I wonder if it'll get hard. It looks pretty good. Maybe just a smidge more in this corner. This might make some neat substrate for the aquarium too. I think I'm gonna <laughs> feel inclined to save it for the aquarium. Because I think that's gonna be cool. Look at that. I really like that natural look. Oops, I wanted to leave a little bit of space for the um, plant. He's got to go in there pretty much all the way because look at how, how far he comes up. So let's do that little bit of space there in the center because these rocks do have, I mean, they're tiny, but they still take up space. They still create an obstacle. Okay, so let's get this potty mix on there. All right, let's start with that. And getting that nice and distributed side of there. Maybe get that little bit out of the center. Distribute it kind of nicely, as evenly as possible. Tamp it down. This really resembles chocolate cake crumbs. Get it down, tamp it down a little. Just on the side. Let's see, let's create that hole again for the root ball and see if we can stick that guy in there. So cool! Gosh, it really gives you the sense that you're planting a real plant here. It really does. Oh, mm, he's a little loose in there. Let's put more soil. Okay, there's that. Ta da! Yay! Let's do one last kit. Okay, so for the last capsule, we're going to make 
the barrel cactus. This was one of my favorite plants. We've got the plant here, the barrel cactus. We've got our potting mix and we've got one large pot and stand. And again, I just love this little pot because it looks like a real nursery pot. Well, since we've got some, um, some of this potting mix left over, let's use that first. Because I don't know, this looks like a pretty small pot. It might be enough. Let's use the spade or trowel. Get the dirt in there. It's so realistic. It's so cute. Let's pull my tool again. It's really great. Yeah, see, I mean, I've barely even used half of what was left in here and it's already pretty full. And frankly, I don't know how we're going to get soil around that root ball. <laughs> Let's, maybe we can uh, have a lot of fun here and get down in the dirt with this potting mix. Oh, it's very crumbly. It does come together, but it's still crumbly at the same time. Maybe we can put it around the thing like that just to kind of give it stability in the pot. Put a little bit more so that it's a little bit of a challenge to get in there. Oh, well, that kind of gives you the look anyway that it's like it's really potted. Super cute. That was super quick too. Okay. And let's put that in the outer pot and the stand. Oh, I love that stand. It's so neat. We didn't even look at the, uh, the recipe here, but it was pretty straightforward, right? So there you have it, Miniax. As you can see, these six plants are pretty darn cute in their own right, but I just couldn't help myself. I just love that stand. And I know I had mentioned when I opened this, I mean, it's kind of simple, right? And so I thought it might be really cute to have a stand. So I made a stand here. You can put that on a tabletop and it would be really cute. I also thought a stand would be adorable with this. I've got a lot of plants, you know, that just sit on the floor. And if, if the pot isn't huge, then it's always nice to kind of have a stand. So I made a stand for that one. I thought it would be really cute to have a stand just to give it some height. I also made a stand for this guy, because again, floor pots are great, but you know, if you've got a stand, even better. So I made a stand for that one. This one also was very simple like that aloe vera. So I made a fancy little gold stand to go with that pink and it fits kind of underneath. And then for this one, you know, the cat already has legs, but I wanted to boost that guy too a little, just to add kind of more interest. So I made that stand, just kind of adds some height difference to add some interest. These stands were actually really simple to make. I'll be sharing the template I created and show you step by step how to put them together so you won't want to miss my next video. That's it for this episode. If you found it informative or entertaining and would like to see more content like this, please tap on that like button. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to receive notification when I post something new. Thank you for watching and remember, growing old is unavoidable, but growing up is optional. So do something fun today. Until next time, bye!